Uh, our next speaker is uh, Baon Wu. He's the CEO of Apparition. Um, and they're going to talk about uh, how to use Easy AR SDK to create amazing AR apps. Um, give it up for Baon Wu. Sorry about that. Hi, how's it going? Um, yes, I'm going to be talking about the Easy AR SDK together. Um, first, I want to introduce myself. My, my name is Bowen Wu. You can easily find me from the uh, Twitter and also the Easy AR. They have Easy AR underscore China. You can find the announcement updates about Easy AR later through the, the, the Twitter. Before I start this session, I want to go through the agenda with you today. First, I want to reintroduce who we are, what we are where I come from, and uh, then we go through a short video talking about what is Easy AR SDK, what kind of thing they can do. After that, when we would run the case study and tell you why you choose EZR SDK. And, uh, and uh, then we jump to the main body of this tutorial is how to use EZR to create AR apps. It will be a live Unity demo. So what we will do is we will download the SDK, which is available on the developer portal. You can download the sample code as well. We start from the sample code to create some live app, uh, AR app right now. In the end, it depends on time. We will just have a quick Q&A station. Uh, we will take a question from your cloud and answer the question if you can. So who we are? My name is Bo Wu. As I mentioned, at, I'm working for the company called Operation. Operation is an Australian-based uh, global company who focus on the enterprise uh, solution of you know, using the utilized AR and the VR to solve the, en the, the enterprise problem. And uh, who is the Easy AR? Is, who is the Vision Star? Vision Star is a company who developed the technology which called Easy AR SDK. Here's the a, here's a quest first question What's the connection between the first one and the second one? What's the relationship between me and the Prision and Vision Star? I think the answer is very simple. We share the same name, China. I'm the Chinese. I'm just uh, I'm here to work with the team. Here's the story I want to share with you. Three months ago, I went back to China. It's just very exciting to go back home. It's, uh, it's been a while. I've been living uh, based in Melbourne, Australia. It's been a while. I didn't go back. I went back to see um, the country has changed very fast, and especially for the technology. I go back to see a lot of the conference, exhibition, and uh, to see a lot of people in the AR and VR industry. There's two things I found is very interesting. Very first one is, AR and VR is booming. It's not booming, it's blowing. It's just a huge market. It's a massive money, massive uh, technology is there. But no one outside of China heard about that before. Even I'm a Chinese, I don't hear about the, any technology in there. In the other way around, as we all know that technology we rarely use on the overseas, something like YouTube, um, Twitter. Uh, recently, Apple's iTunes service have been shut down in that area. I can see that there's the opportunity there, but I all can see is the boundary there. The boundary comes from the language because we don't speak English at all. Another boundary is about the policy. I don't want to talk too, more, too much about that, but the, what I'm trying to say today is, I, personally, I won't be the one to make some bridge in between. I don't know how much I can do, but I won't help the Chinese company like Easy AR to take them out to just sitting in here at the war stage to talk, in, talk to tell you all of you and about here's the technology is very cool you never heard it before I want to let you know in other way around if you have any cool technology you want to test have a taste about that market please talk to me you can easily find me from LinkedIn and Twitter let's back to the story what is SEK what I'm doing here I want to play a small short video to, to highlight the feature about SEK sorry is that the audio on?
to go. And uh, yeah, that's and there's this thing uh, is which, which is have been covered by the, the video. I just don't want to rewrite the reread the whole thing here. You can have a look. Um, but the thing I want to highlight here is the SDK is not only developed by themselves. What I mean by that is uh, give you some story about the history about EZR. EZR, the vision start, this company start with the application called Site Plus. You can download it from the Google Store and the Apple Store. And they starting work about two years, about two years or three years ago. And it's a very generic AR scanner app. And here, you, here's the thing, you can have a look. If you have a look on the number there, is active user is 500k plus, and the maximum scan time per day is 200 plus k. So what I mean by that is they develop the app first and say, OK, it's approved the code. Why not? We grab the cool part of the code and generate SDK and share the SDK with developer. That's the story behind that. As, as you can see that we, because of the high population in China, we get a lot of the user feedback. For example, we can see a lot of things that have been covered there. A user want text light object tracking. User wants user feel difficult to get the tracking at because of the light of reflection. People find difficult if you just have the tracking the different the thing in different distance. We get the, the, the feedback from the user based on the whole huge population in China. We fix it, and also we put a new feature in SDK. So SDK and uh, this one and uh, the site plus they talk to each other. We're using the site plus and as a test of generic app get feedback from user, and then we grab the cool feature and put the SDK so these two cool things can work together. I want to show, uh, show you a quick use case uh, which happened in the early of this year. Um, as you can see here, there's the video play in the background. I'm just to talk through this thing from here. So this is a, a project which is using the Site Plus SDK. As you can see, there's no uh, threats there. We use the user scan the QR code, can download the site plus SDK, and then what we do is the bank, the agriculture bank of China, they're using that to promote their banknotes. Every single year in the Chinese New Year, all the bank in China want to promote their banknotes. People want to buy some gold, buy some silver. They want to keep the banknote to, to have that. But every single bank in China doing that. Why? What we can do to do something special to give you some offer, some special to attract the user to buy it. So what we do is we'll, we put the, the animation using AR technology powered by the EZR and using the size application. As you can see there. Um, they have the 3D animator there. There's an avatar there. You can use simply using your finger to act interactive with the people. And also, as I mentioned before, uh, this application has a screen recording feature, which means that you can share the experience with your friends using the, the favorite social media you like, like what we use in China, which is called WeChat. It's no different than WhatsApp, something like that. And also, you can see there's the whole book, the animation book there. It's not only a it's not only a book, have a picture, it have the animation inside. We do have some live demo later. If you're interested, uh, please come over to our booth. We have a booth in the 202. And uh, we also have something there. Depends on time, we can show on, on live. And uh, as you can see here, we just bought the, the revenue from USD 15 mil to this bank. It's a huge number. And I have to say that. OK, so what's next? I think you must be curious about what's you can do how to utilize this SDK by yourself. So what, what I'm doing here is introduce the tech lead, uh, Mr. Song Jian, to come from the Vision Star Group. So he will run a live Unity demo. He basing on the sample code, which you can download right now through the developer portal and the try something feature to show you how easy it is to using the SDK to create AI apps. Please uh, allow, just give the boss to Song Jian. OK, thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is uh, Song Jian, and my English name is Ken. So I'm now going to show you how EZR works. First, I will start from this sample. I will just run it. OK, so you can see it works. So now I just clear all these things in the, oh no, I will create a new scene so I can show you how to create a simple sample here. 
So you first you have to just uh, drag a prefab, for example, this idea startup prefab, and I, I will move the main camera. And it contains uh, three components. One is a camera device. You can change camera size or camera front camera or back camera here. And the second one, augmenter. I, we call it augmenter, and we, we show some main camera here. We put, put the main camera here, and the third one is an image tracker. We have a very, very, very uh, easy usage for this image tracker. You can play, replace it, or you can put more than one image tracker here. I will show you later. And uh, the second part of the SDK, you can just drag an image target. It's a, it's a rep representative of the image of the target, and you have to show something uh, put something as a child. For example, I put a cube here. And uh, so you can see nothing as a thing, it, but it's OK. Uh, I will just uh, enter the image path. And we have a name card here. So I will enter name card, name in card two. It, its name is. is, is uh, you can leave, leave it empty, and the size leave it empty. I will change the storage to assets. So it will work now. I will just input a key here because we need we need a key to activate. So basically, it will work. Okay. Oh yeah. I think it's not running. We all know that's a live demo. That's all we said. That's okay because I entered a different name. It's a. Uh, it's not here. Okay, because I entered, I entered the wrong name because it has to be a name path, JPEG because we support PNG and JPEG, so. That's OK. There you go. And uh, you can see the thing is uh, empty. And you, if you want to, uh, usually you, you will need to change the target in the thing. And uh, you can just, for example, I create another target here. Uh, I will leave the name empty. And uh, I will place the here, I will change it a little smaller. Okay. So how do you see that in the scene? You will just need to change the size. Uh, okay. So, for example, you put put some material. Uh, to this one, and you can see that in the scene, and you can change the sphere. Okay, so that's another. That's another. We oh. Here you have to change one other thing. You have to uh, change the script because you have to uh, show or head when we found this target or lost the target. So I have a sample. It's very easy. I just put this sample script here. And uh, I put it here. Yes, let's start it again. So now you can see this uh, cube. Two, one, two. OK. So can I track these two targets at the same time? It, yes. Very easy. You can change the number here, and I change back to one. It's a multi-target tracking. So if you want to change it to, uh, for example, I will track. I have a uh, many cards here. I'll just duplicate it. Control D. Okay. Now, what happens? If I change 
this number, for example, to four. There are many cards here. Okay. They, they all shows. So it's that easy. So after this sample, it's, uh, you can see how easy it's this uh, EDR can work. So I'm going to show you another two. I think I have some time to show you another two samples here. And they are very interesting. Because we just use the image as a target, you can, uh, here's another sample. I can just, oh no, open the thing and just start it. Now we have not set any preset, any target here. You cannot scan anything. You cannot see anything. But uh, if I press the take photo button here, for example, I take here, and here is a cube. This target is uh, created on the fly. For example, uh, I haven't tried this before, and, and I will try. Oh, yeah. So you can see, two, you can see, uh, tell me something, like I want to add here, okay. two things you want to see here. First, the name card is a text-less object. They can track perfectly in there. Second thing I want to highlight is you don't preset the AR marker there. They just uh, take a photo on flight, and this just works. Okay, so this is a sample, and uh, we have another sample here. You may already know that uh, the Disney has a sample, has a book for coloring, and we have a sample to do that. It's not exactly the same, but uh, basically you can do the same thing with EDR and with this sample. Okay, I will open this thing. Got it. I'll scan the image. Uh, I didn't have. I don't have the print, so I will just uh, use here. Okay, you can you can see it's a beer. Oh, it's a beer here. And um, for example, if I draw some colors here, it changed at the wrong time. And you can see the bear. What you can see here is a lot of the AR uh, product on the, port, on, the, on the customer you're using now is the use uh, the children and the kids and using the AR technology. They have a printing book that draws on the flight. And uh, that's, uh, I see a lot of the company doing that. For example, Daiquiri have some of the demo. They have the Frozen. I bought that for uh, I bought that for my friend's daughter. It's really lo really love it. You can print in whatever you want. You have a 3D model there and can just uh, reflect the color, what you put in there. And in the sample code in the SDK, you can easily to find it and using the SDK to do it by yourself. Okay, one thing I have, I want to mention is that uh, this sample is quite easy. You can see the scripts here. One, it's uh, one, two, and three files. And you don't have to type too much code. It's, it's uh, very easy to do that. Okay. Cool. Thank you for uh, Mr. Song to cover this three thing. I just quickly recap. Quickly recap to what what happens in the in the in the session. We show three demos. The first one is very basic AR demo. We uh, we show you how to switch the AR marker, how to switch the three D three D model, how to attach the marker and three D model together. The samples, The second sample that Mr. Song gave you is how to create AR experience on flight. You can don't, don't need to preset everything on the in the very beginning. On the flight, you can take the picture. Uh, like for example, Mr. Stone just show you that how easy to take a picture directly on flight and show the preset 3D model on top of it. Give the uh, give the AI experience on flight. The very last one is very interesting one. I like that so much because I saw a lot of interesting AR products is selling for the the kids market as people who are just using that to you know. Uh, painting a positive color on the scratch, and then start from there. From the sample code, you can do it by yourself. And yes, that's pretty much what we could cover for the for the demo today. And the, the very last, I want to take a few questions. If you anything from your, your side, any questions? Any questions? Uh, we are in base in the booth two hundred two. It's just uh, in the entry. 
if you have any further questions, feel free to ask. And also, we pre prepare some br um, browser for you. So once you're left, please do take the browser with you. We have details how to contact the EZR team, how to contact Vision Star, and how to download the sample code, where you can, you can find the codes. And uh, you can always find us uh, by through the email to the support at EZR.com. And you can Twitter the EZR underscore China. And you can find me for the, the, for the Twitter, the Bowen stat underscore Wu. And there's a website. You can go there. Uh, there's a very detailed instruction there to tell you how to download SDK. How for the, we do have the SDK for the Unity. We have native iOS and native Android. So thank you again for your time, and hope you enjoyed the, the, the rest of the session. Thank you.